my homeschool channel. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you our science curriculum choice for this upcoming school year. We have decided to go with Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics from Apologia as part of their Young Explorer series. In this video I'll discuss why we chose this curriculum, some unique aspects that I think Apologia curriculum offers, and I also will do a little flip through to show you a peek inside of this book. So let's jump right in. When I was deciding on a science curriculum for this fall, I knew I wanted something that was going to cover either physics or chemistry type concepts for my oldest child, who will be going into fourth grade this year. Since her kindergarten year, we've been doing loads of life sciences, um, nature studies, we studied astronomy, we've studied uh, the life cycle of plants and animals, and so I needed to move her away from life sciences and into something else. So I had narrowed it down to two options. I was either going to go with Master Books, Adventures in the Physical World, or I was going to use Apologia's Chemistry and Physics book, which I decided to end up using. I love both curriculum options. I was really torn and it took me a while to decide because both curriculums are very Bible-based. They have a solid foundation of a biblical worldview. Both of them weave the gospel story and the creation narrative throughout their lessons. And so I love that about both curriculums. The reason I chose Apologia over Masterbooks, Adventures in the Physical World for this particular year was because the second half of the Masterbooks book covers uh, the solar system covers volcanoes um, and a couple other things that we've already studied in the last couple of years and so I really thought it would be redundant to go over those things again for my fourth grader so that's why I chose Apologia over Masterbooks. But I'm super excited about Apologia Science because we used their science last year for astronomy and loved it and we loved their notebooking activities and so I think this is going to be a great fit for our family again. Apologia Sciences are a popular choice among homeschool families. A couple of the reasons are because they are made for homeschoolers. They encourage your children to understand and explore science from a biblical and Christian perspective. And then the third reason is because they offer a full and comprehensive approach to each subject. And another reason I chose this over the master books Adventures in the Physical World is because I knew that this was going to be a lot more comprehensive than what the master books book was going to be offering. If you have younger kids, the master books option is a good option because it is definitely more surface level and then you can pull in some outside resources to kind of build on whatever your child is interested or to dive further into different subjects. But for this year, I really wanted something that was going to be all in one book. I wanted to make sure that I was not going to have to go and find the extra resources to add in. I won't have to be worried that I'm missing any key components or any important information because it's all here. So the topics that they cover, things like friction or energy or atoms and molecules, they dive deep into each subject in this book. So if there are some things in this book that we want to kind of skim over, that's fine. But if we want to dive deep into it, it's going to be right here and I'm not going to have to pull in any outside resources. Three key features that Apology of Science offers that keeps drawing me back again and again and has made me choose them again this fall is one, their hands-on science experiments. Last year when we used them to study astronomy and zoology, we had a ton of fun with all of the hands-on activities that they provided within the textbook. And so I'm looking forward to doing all of those activities again with their chemistry and physics book. Since they are a curriculum that's made specifically for homeschool families, their activities are designed to be done for homeschoolers. They're designed to be done in your home and they are made to be done with a wide variety of ages. So it's not something that's overly complicated and it is something that your whole family can enjoy. The second key feature that Apology of Science uses that I really love is notebooking. We started getting into notebooking last year with our history and science curriculums and we loved it so much that we are going to continue notebooking this year for history and science. Apologia even offers their own science notebooks to go along with their curriculum. You can do a blank notebook to go along with it and fill in the pages however you want, or you can buy their notebooks. They even have two different levels of notebooking. They have a junior notebook and then they have their original notebooks. I'm going to be kind of using a combination of both. So we're going to be using this as our master reference notebook, but then my kids are going to have their own blank notebooks and we're going to um, do the activities that are suggested in here, my kids are going to do them in their blank notebooks. A couple reasons for this is cost. I only had to buy one of these instead of one for each of my kids. And then also I can save this since we won't be writing in this. I can save this to use again with my kids in the future. So probably my child that's going into first grade this fall 
We will probably redo this curriculum some point down the road when she's in fourth or fifth grade. And then I have two younger ones that are also going to be coming up. And so if this is still relevant and hasn't been updated or needed to be updated, then we'll have this to use again with them. And then the last key feature that I think Apology of Science offers is the support that they give to parents and students. When you purchase their textbooks, you get a password, which gives you access to an online resource library. So you can watch videos or they offer some book suggestions for you there to dive deeper into subjects. And then they also have resources like lab science kits for each of their books. So they have a kit that you can purchase that is meant to go with this chemistry and physics textbook, and it provides all of the materials that you'll need for each experiment throughout the book. The prices of the kits vary. I think for this subject, for the chemistry and physics textbook, the science kit is $150 or around that price. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna go that route or not. I need to look through the book a little bit closer and maybe add up what I think the materials would cost me if I grab them from places like Walmart or the Dollar Tree. But it could also be really nice to just go ahead and purchase that kit and know that for the whole year, I've got all the materials I need for each experiment. I don't have to stress and worry each week wondering if we have what we need for the science experiment for that lesson. Now let's take a look inside the book and give you guys a chance to see what it looks like inside. Okay, so let's look inside the textbook. In the front you have your contents and you can see that each lesson covers a significant amount of information. If you buy the notebook that goes along with the textbook, they'll give you a suggested daily schedule in the front of that book. And it basically says that if you do science two days a week, which our family does, then it will take you two weeks to get through each lesson. Last year we tried to squeeze in two science books from Apologia, the astronomy and one of their zoology books and it was a little too much. We ended up only focusing on a few things in the zoology book before it was time for our school year to end. I'm excited to take our time with this book this year and go through the lessons slowly and dive into each subject and if it takes us a couple weeks to get through one lesson then that's okay. There's a total of 14 lessons in this book so if it takes you two weeks to complete each lesson that gives you 28 weeks which is plenty of time within the school year to complete this book and even gives some wiggle room for breaks and for taking a little longer if one lesson takes you longer than in two weeks. Another thing that I love about Apology of Science is that it is set up in a conversational tone. So it's not just a textbook telling you facts. It's like a conversation that you're having with your kid as you're reading it. So it's very engaging and it keeps the kid's attention. This is kind of how each lesson is formatted and you can see that they have it broken up into sections and so there are natural stopping points along the way. So if your kid's attention span is short that day, you only have this section to read and then you can finish. Um, or if they're really into it, then you can kind of go through everything. And then they also have these stopping points, these try this little experiments that you can do. And those also provide natural stopping points as you're going through the lesson. You can see that just lesson one is about 15 pages. So it does have lots of information in each lesson, which is why I think they want you to take about two weeks to cover each lesson. They also have lots of experiments. So I don't know if we will necessarily do all of these experiments suggested, but I like that they give you lots of different options. So how I plan to use this textbook is to read the sections to my kids. And at the end of each section, before moving on to the next, we will pause and we will review what we just read and I will have them narrate back to me what they learned. Narration is a great tool to help your students retain the information and to stay engaged. It also helps them learn how to communicate what they've learned effectively and be able to teach others. And I also think it's neat to hear what stood out to them and what they found interesting in that section. After they've done their narration back to me, we will either continue reading if I feel like we have the attention span for more, or we will pause to do our notebook. Or if we run into one of the experiments, we will first do the experiment and then we will move on to our notebooks. They also offer an answer key in the back of the book, which is really helpful if there are some things that you don't remember from when you were in school or things that you don't wanna take the time to look up, you can just flip to the back and they have the answer sheets right here for you. This is also really nice because a lot of times you have to buy a separate teacher's book or a separate answer key book uh, with a lot of curriculums, but Apology is great. They Everything you need to teach the lesson is right here in this book. So the answer key is in the back and then you just teach straight from the book. You just read this text to your kids. Or for more independent learners or for older kids, they could read the book themselves because it is written as if it is talking to the child. I can see that being super beneficial to my older child as she grows, that if I don't have the time to sit and read each section with them, I can kind of read it ahead of time 
and then I can send them on to do independent reading, maybe just a little section at a time, and they can work on that themselves while I'm doing something else. And then later we can come together and they can narrate back to me what they've learned. If you choose not to buy their complete supply kit or resource kit for this book, they do offer a supply list in the back of the book that you can look at before you begin each lesson to see what you're going to need for each lesson. It looks like a long list, but a lot of this stuff is stuff that you may already have around your house or in your pantry. Here's a sneak peek about what the rest of the book has to offer. notebooking journal that's provided by Apologia. It gives you some instructions in the front of the book on how you can go about using the items in this book. Here's the daily schedule that I was talking about. Each lesson has multiple pages of either blank spaces for them to write down what they've learned, to draw things, to complete crossword things or word searches, and to complete copy work. They also have blank spaces for mini books. So in the back of the book, they have mini books that you can cut out and create and then glue into the blank spots in this notebook. What I'm gonna have my kids do is actually use a notebook like this, and this is an example from their, um, from when we did zoology. They are going to do some of the activities and they're just going to do them on the blank pages over here instead of filling in the pages in the notebook. So if there's copy work, they'll do the copy work over here. If there's drawing pages, they'll do them in here. If there's a mini book even, we will do that separately and we'll glue it in here. And sometimes what I like to do with the mini book is uh, come back here and if I have, since I am schooling multiple kids and since we're not using this as a consumable, we're using it more as a reference, I will photocopy some of these pages and print them out and then have my kids complete the mini book from the printed pages so that way I can keep this in the book and save it. Probably not exactly what they want you to do since you won't be coming back to purchase more, but if you've got multiple kids, it can definitely be a frugal tip to just purchase one and then copy what you need for your family. Our history book from Story of the World actually doesn't mind that at all. It has a little blurb in their book that suggests that you can photocopy for your own family members. And so I think a lot of homeschool curriculum companies understand that that is something that happens. So I don't feel bad about that if I've purchased one notebook for our family. I feel like I can photocopy it for my other children and use it for them. Here's just a further look at all of the things that are included in the journal. offer is a little review sheet after each lesson so you can use that as a test or you can just use it as a chance to sit down with your kids and kind of review the information to see what they remember and what they've retained. I also like how they include these little experiment sheets so your kids can learn how to write out what they did in their experiments and what they learned from them. This I think will really help prepare them for when they get up to the high school science lessons and they need to describe what they've done in their experiment or they need to write out an experiment sheet. So that's kind of an overview of the science we'll be using this year and why I love Apology of Science so much. I'm super excited to dive into this subject with my girls and to continue teaching them and showing them that science and faith in God, faith in a creator can exist harmoniously, that they go together, that learning more about science and learning more about how the world works actually points us to a God who loves us, who created us, and who designed life around us specifically and intentionally, and how they were also created intentionally and specifically. I love this gospel-centered curriculum, and I hope having a peek inside helped you decide if you want to use it or if it's a good fit for your homeschool. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more homeschool content. I love kind of showing you guys peeks inside of curriculum and books that we've used or are planning to use because I know it's so helpful to see what's inside and to hear a little review about it. If it was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. Also comment below and let me know if you've used Apology of Science before. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy homeschooling.